Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to create God Rays in Unreal Engine using Ultra Dynamic Sky. And the best part? We'll get it done fast. If you're looking to add that magical beam of light streaming through the window, stick around. I will guide you through the key settings to achieve beautiful cinematic God Rays in no time. Let's dive in. So guys, just a quick note before we start. I've set the camera exposure to manual at 1.25. To keep the exposure stable throughout the scene, this way, we can focus purely on the lighting effects without any shifts in brightness. So let me just delete the Ultra Dynamic Sky and bring it back to start from scratch. Alright, the goal here is to achieve those beautiful god rays as quickly as possible. We will keep things straightforward, focusing on just a few key settings in Ultra Dynamic Sky. And the first one is to increase the fog to something like between 5 to 6. And after that, let me just close these cloud related parameters and categories. And yeah, here we have simulation. Let's just check it and simulate real sun. And I'm going to kind of locate the sun to shine through the window on the ground inside. And as you can see, I'm just playing with this longitude and latitude parameters to find the best position for the sun and here I have found it. Yeah, that's good. Now let's move on and in the next category which is related to the sunlight, I'm going to increase the sunlight intensity to make those god rays really pop and bring more drama to the scene. And I think 82 would be okay. And next I'm gonna uncheck the apply exposure settings option in ultra dynamic sky this will disable the blueprints built-in exposure adjustments giving us full control over the lighting without any automatic exposure changes since we set our camera exposure to manual earlier this step ensures that our exposure remains consistent and stable as we tweak the sunlight and bring the god rays that we are looking for now I'm going to enable volumetric fog option. This will activate the fog effect which is essential for making god rays visible in our scene. After that, I will decrease the volumetric fog extinction value to make the fog lighter and less dense. This will allow the sunlight to pass through more effectively, enhancing the visibility of those striking god rays. Now I will search for shaft in the search tab to activate the sunlight shaft bloom effect. Enabling this option will make the god rays appear, bringing that dramatic light effect into the scene. And just like that, the god rays we've been aiming for are now visible, adding that extra layer of cinematic atmosphere. And then increasing the sunlight shaft bloom scale will enhance the spread of god rays, making them appear more prominent and dramatic in the scene. Meanwhile, adjusting the sunlight shaft bloom brightness will boost the intensity of the rays, making them stand out more against the environment and adding that magical glow we we're after. And that's it folks, I hope this quick dive into creating god rays using Ultra Dynamic Sky was helpful. With just a few tweaks, you can add a whole new level of depth and realism to your scenes. And as always, feel free to drop your questions or suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.